United States of America has placed Nigeria on a special watch list of countries that have engaged in or tolerated severe violations of religious freedom. A statement on Friday by the Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, explained that Nigeria was added to the list alongside Cuba, Nicaragua and Sudan. Other countries that have been on the list under the International Religious Freedom Act of 1998 include Burma, China, Eritrea, Iran, North Korea, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, Tajikistan and Turkey, Menistan. Nigeria may have joined the list because of the clampdown on Islamic movement in Nigeria, IMN, popularly known as Shiites, Muslims, as well as the killing of Christians in the north. The department explained these designations underscore the United States' commitment to protect those who seek to exercise their freedom of religion or belief. I believe that everyone, everywhere, at all times, should have the right to live according to the dictates of their conscience, the statement read in part. Now, joining us live by telephone from Abuja is Muslim cleric Abdullahi Mohammed Musa. Thank you very much for joining us. Let's begin by asking what your thoughts are. Looking at the events that had taken place in the country, would you completely agree with this statement by the U.S. Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo? Yes, um, I think uh, this is the right thing. Uh, 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 in this situation where we find ourselves in a country where we have people at the seat of power who doesn't tolerate uh, religious differences. Um, anybody that doesn't belong to the type of religion they believe in, they believe such a person uh, can be prosecuted as, at any time. Um, the, the, this, this is what lead, I think is, 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 is a very right thing the U.S. done, even though they have done it at the uh, I don't know why they wasted time you know, for doing this. This is a country where thousands of people were being killed just because of the, the type of religion they practice, put them in a mass barrier. Even sometimes they keep them. They kill people and keep like the, 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 the freezers, they keep protesters whom were killed uh, in July, 22nd July, and a federal secretary. The corpses are still with the police. They refuse to give them out to be given the fitting a barrier Islamically. Why? So this thing, I think, is the right time for. Um, I'm even calling on other countries to ban these uh, people from these authorities from going even their country, because what they are doing is the worst things we have ever seen in the world. Uh, it's unfortunate that these people they doesn't even regard the constitution, because anybody who violates somebody's constitutional right, that means that such a person doesn't recognize the constitution. You can see how the government has been violating court order, disobedient to court order to people just because they want to, to, to prosecute such people. So they don't recognize this constitution. They don't respect the constitution. They don't respect even rule of law in this country. So they have no concern over the constitution. Constitution has granted people freedom of religion. But some people, because they are at the seat of power today, they are denying people from practicing religion the way they understand it. So uh, can we say they, 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 they have regard for this constitution? No, they doesn't regard the constitution. How can Nigeria better harness, let's say, the potentials of us being a country that is religiously dynamic and promotes peaceful coexistence in areas where there are disagreements, especially as it has to do with religion? I think the best thing is, is, is for us to be tol to tolerant, to, to have this religious tolerance. People have been given uh, the right by the constitution to practice religion the way they understand. The best way, the best way is for the authorities to respect the constitution and respect religious differences within the, the, the citizens of Nigeria. That's the only way that we give us peace in this country. Thank you very much, um, Mr. Abdullahi Mohammed Musa, for sharing your thoughts with us under news. Welcome.